everyone i am dr ekta bhushan teaching anatomy and physiology of exercise at indira gandhi institute of physical education at spon sciences university of delhi i welcome you all to online lectures of cec ugc in this series we will discuss different topics associated with anatomy and physiology of exercise but today in particular we will discuss the topic effects of exercise on digestive system there are several effects of exercise on the body that can positively alter uh, digestive system functioning such as an increase in endorphins a reduction in stress level and speeding up of the metabolism exercise can even elevate symptoms of digestive disease and prevent constipation but like anything in excess too much physical activity can have its drawbacks such as stomach upset and an increase in stress hormone whether you are hitting the gym stretching or running laps around the track the digestive system may be affected for better or for worse the digestive system consists of the digestive tract that is mouth esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine and anus along with other organs that helps in digestion such as tongue pancreas and liver during digestion food and liquid are broken down into smaller parts which the body then use to build and nourish cells and supply energy your body requires nutrients to stay healthy which is why digestive is so important exercise can play a role in the process of digestion in ways that can be both beneficial and in rare cases detrimental so uh, in this uh, effect of exercise of digestive system we have uh, divided it into immediate effects and long term effects there are several short term or immediate effects of exercise on the digestive system many of which are positive exercise can improve blood flow relieve stress regulate weight and speed up metabolism which can all contribute to a healthy well functioning digestive system so let's start uh, uh, with the first one that is gastrointestinal problem that is one of the negative effect if you are just eaten before exercising you can experience uh, gastrointestinal problem depending on the type of food you have eaten and the in, uh, intensity of your exercise program you may suffer from heartburn abdominal pain or even vomiting for example consuming a complex meal high in fiber protein or fat before a high intensity workout is not a good idea maybe uh, not even end well so if you only remember one thing from the article from this lecture remember that exercise times does not coincide with digestion digestion time give your body the proper time to digest before exercising if you eat a meal heavy in proteins and fats you may need 2 or 3 hours for digestion your blood sugar rises to help your digest wait for it to drop back to normal so you can devote all your energy to your workout the next one is increases blood flow this can improve circulation in all areas of the body including the digestive tract and enhance overall body functioning by doing exercise you can increase the blood flow in your body this includes your digestive system also try to exercise regularly and keep your body in motion 
This helps in digestion because this ensures that your digestive tract is in motion and not kept lazy. If you have a slow digestive system, it is important that you exercise regularly. You can also get rid of various problems related to a digestion like heartburn, gas, stomach cramps and constipation by doing exercise. Since exercise increase your blood circulation, it is also good for your heart as well as blood pressure and another conditions for the artery. The next one is relieve stress. Working up a sweat can also relieve stress. In fact, according to Harvard Health Publishing, exercise reduces level of the body's stress hormones, adrenaline and cortisol. While stimulating endorphin, the body's mood elevate. Then constipation. A 2014 study published in the journal of PLOS One found that constipation could be prevented with exercise as being too sedentary can slow down your digestion. Exercise helps constipation by decreasing the time it takes food to move through the large intestine by increasing the natural contraction of the intestinal muscle by limiting the amount of water absorbed from the stool into the body makes it easier for the stool to be evacuated. The next one is metabolism. Cardio exercise speed up your body's metabolism rate so that you burn calories faster and your digestive system works over time. It is true that you burn more calories when you exercise, especially when you get your heart rate up with activities like biking or swimming. That increased calories burns last as long as you work out. You might keep burning extra calories for an hour or so after that, but the after effects of exercise stops there. Once you stop moving, your metabolism will go back to its resting rate. If you load up on calories after a workout, thinking your body will keep burning calories the rest of the day, you will risk weight gain. So what to do? Exercise for your health and refuel with healthy food. Do not let exercise give you an excuse to overindulge in high calories food and drinks. Now let's start with the long term effects of exercise on digestive system. The first one is no, constip no constipation for in a long run as well. So exercise helps constipation by decreasing the time it takes food to move through the large intestine by increasing the natural contraction of the intestinal muscle, by limiting the amount of water absorbed from the stool into the body makes it easier for the stool to be evacuated. The next one is diverticular ex, uh, diseases. So the divert, diverticular disease is more prevalent among those who have sedentary occupation. For example, sitting at the desk, regular exercise can help reduce uh, colonic pressure, cause food to transit faster through the GI tract and stimulate bowel movement. In this picture also, you can see the uh, normal uh, cologne and uh, the cologne with the disease called diverticular. So all three of these results are associated with a lower risk of diverticular disease complications. The release of natural endorphin during the exercise can help with chronic pain, discomfort in the abdomen as well. The next and very uh, most important one uh, uh, effect of uh, digestive system is uh, it prevents with colon cancer. 
The National Health Institute notes that in a 2009 study that examined the association between physical activities with colon cancer risk found that the most physically active individuals had a 24% lower risk of colon cancer than those who were uh, the least physical active. So, can exercise be harmful to the digestive system? For the most part, exercise improves digestive function that is unless it is done in excess. A 2017 study from elementary pharmac uh, pharmacology and therapeutics found that as exercise intensity and duration rises, the likelihood of intestinal injury increases. According to the Dr. Sonia uh, Raftaj, uh, too much exercise can cause elevation in stress hormones. The recommends, uh, she recommends taking at least one day off from strenuous exercise per week. Too much physical activity can also trigger up uh, upset stomach for reasons like dehydration, eating too soon and vertigo. Now, uh, what is the solution of this? That is, we have to concentrate uh, the pre-exercise eating tips. So, ideally, uh, eat about 3 hours before you exercise. Eat less if you uh, dine less than 2 hours before your workout. Then, eat food uh, you can digest easily like those high in carbohydrates and low in fats bananas, toast and oats are excellent low fiber carbohydrate sources. Then avoid protein and high fiber food which digest more slowly. Then keep yourself hydrated during your exercise regime. When hydrating, make sure you drink enough to support your activity. Now, Ways to speed up the digestion of food and avoid discomfort. So, let's start with cleaning up your diet. Your diet is the first place to look when you want to improve your digestive health. Eating a lot of processed food such as fast food, white bread, pasta, chips and baked goods can cause constipation and so can too much cheese and meat. These foods are low in water and fiber, two substances critical for regular bowel movement. Caffeine containing beverages and alcohol can also back you up. The next one is increasing your fiber intake. Dietary fiber is critical to digestive health found only in plant food. Fiber is the uh, indigible material that makes up the cell walls of plant. It passes through the human body mostly in digested, but it adds bulk of stool and plays a key role in keeping things moving. It is also holds water in the bowel to increase the softness of stool making it easier to pass. Then the next one is drinking more water. Along with fiber, water helps lubricate stool to keep it soft and moving along through the digestive tract. Dehydration can lead to hard dry stool and result in constipation. To make matters worse, caffeine and alcohol can prevent the body from holding on to much needed water. Eating more fiber rich fruits and vegetables which naturally add more water to your diet. In fact, about 20% of your daily recommended water intake comes from food. But you still need to make sure to drink plenty of fluids, caffeine free and sugar free including the 20% of uh, from food men need a total of 15.5 cups of fluid per day and women needs at, uh, around 12 cups. 
the last one is and which is very important getting more exercise a lack of physical activity is a major contributing factor to constipation exercise speed up the movement of a uh, food through the digestive system which prevents water loss from the stool this prevents the hard dry stool characteristics of constipation exercise also increases your heart rate which helps to stimulate uh, peristalsis the intestinal contractions that move waste out of the body any kind of physical activity is beneficial for preventing and relieving constipation and a slow digestive system simply walking for 10 to 15 minutes at a time can speed up digestion but to improve both your digestion and your overall health follow the exercise recommendations of the centers of disease control and prevention which advises all the adults to get 150 to 300 minutes of moderate exercise to 75 to 150 minutes of vigorous activity each week in now we have come to the conclusion i encourage regular physical activity and exercise for all my students as well as fellow ones and i follow that advice to myself also the benefits of increased uh, increased gut mortality more regular bowel movement a more healthy diverse gut microbiome diseased risk of colon cancer and improvement of your gut's immune system are just a few of the reasons we should all do exercise the other benefits of regular exercise should be equally clear it helps relieve stress helps maintain a healthy weight which helps with conditions like fatty liver diabetes and heart diseases and increases energy during the day i know there are many reasons which i call them excuses the why it's hard to exercise and i understand many of us live very busy lives you need to make the decision for yourself if your physical health is worth the 30 minutes or so a few times a week it takes to schedule exercise into your busy day you may live longer and healthier because of it if you are fit the amount of blood diverted from your digestive system did decreases because it needs a less urgent your muscles are more efficient when you are in shape over time regular exercise can strengthen your uh, digestive tract which will improve intestinal motility and elimination i hope you understood the effects of uh, effects and benefits of exercise on digestive system and how you can improve your digestion as well that's all for today see you next time thank you